Good evening, racing fans. I am Gary DeLeo out here in the front with three NHL hockey legends. I have Chris Darion, I have Grant Marshall, and I have Ronnie Greshner. Chris, I got a question for you. First of all, first, late, first year in the league, all-rookie team, also known as probably one of the better defensemen in the league in your career, and something that caught my eye, you kept down one of the greatest scorers in the history of NFL, Yammer Yager. What was your secret to keep him under control? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, a great skater, and I know a lot of these, yeah, Marshy certainly saw him. I mean, one of the best players ever played the game. He was a great skater, and I, I just tell people, you need to defend him, keep him wide, leave him to the outside. But that's how I made pretty much a good name in Philly, uh, playing against Yager. But the division itself, Devils, Rangers with Gresh and everything, I mean, it's been the old Patrick division. I mean, it's when hockey was kind of at its finest, I think. And it's been bitter rivals, but I can see at the end of the day, there's some great people here, too. Okay, Grant, two Stanley Cups. Your name's on probably the greatest trophy in the history of sports, if not the greatest trophy in the world. How did being in winning the Stanley Cup affect your playing? How did it change your playing? And how about after the afterlife of hockey? Well, I mean, I'm, I might not be as big a name as these two guys, um, <laughs> um, but I do have the, the rings, which, which help. You know, it's one of those things where looking back at my career and winning it was always about being part of a team, right? And when you look at, when I look at the rings, I, that's what I think about the most. And that's what, you know, gives me that joy and, and that builds that character of the person I was with it being part of great teams. And, uh, and I just carry that on to uh, hopefully, you know, in the community, working with the Devils and the alumni and being able to give back that way. But uh, just being part of a team and, and going through guys. And we tell stories, even though we played against each other, it's always the same type of stories, but with different jerseys on. And it's always, uh, and it's always fun. You're always learning with these two guys as well. Okay, Ronnie, 17 years with the Rangers, probably one of the greatest Rangers who ever donned the uniform, probably one of the most fans-like player of all time. I got a question for you. Some of those playoff games in the Garden were electric, okay? You could feel it in the stands. How did you make you guys feel as a player? Well, when you're playing in front of the greatest fans in the world, nothing against Devils fans or Flyer fans, but... They are not as good as the Ranger fans. It is easy to play in front of them. They, um, it's just amazing how playing in that building, Madison Square Garden, that's it. You know, and I, lo I love playing there, and it was, I played my whole career there, and I loved it. Okay, one more question. I'm putting you on the spot. Okay, the guy's crossing the line, coming down for a goal. It's only you and the goalie. What guy don't you want to see coming down and you win a breakaway? Uh, Mario Lemieux. Mario Lemieux had the greatest play, offensive play you played against? Uh, I know Bobby Orr was there, Mario Lemieux, Gretzky, a lot of guys, but uh, Mario was probably the most talented player I've ever seen. Okay, guys, listen, thanks for coming. Listen, we're going to be here all night. These guys are going to be around. If you see them, they'll take a picture with you. Thanks for coming out, guys. Go Rangers. Cheers.